Have you decided if you're playing or not next year? Uh, it's likely no. Like, very, very likely. 95% no. It just doesn't really make any sense. I also think there's so much talent now in America, and actually the world, that it would be cool to, like, see other people also get the spot and get, get a chance to play. There's just no point. And for me, I want to do other things. I want to do, like, different shit. All I've done is compete in my, like, all the way from my 20s, all the way into my 30s, all I've done is compete. So I definitely want to have a chance at doing other things. No, guys, I'm saying after next year. This is my last year of competing. I'm competing this coming year, so 2025. But 2025 will for sure be my last year. And then we move on to, I don't know about bigger, but for me, probably better things. Retiring? Yeah, 100%. I mean, that was already obvious. Yeah, no, no way I'm playing after this coming year. Match found. Give Go hard this year, give everything we have, and then I'm done. Call it quits. I'm grateful though, dude. Very few get the opportunity to compete as long as I have. Well, you still stream? Yeah, yeah, of course. So streaming is more more likely what I'll do. More than likely I'll do that. Like watch parties and stuff like that. Um, but one of my goals is to move back to Toronto after next year. And streaming goals, I want to make a podcast at some point. I don't know when that's going to happen, though. I want to travel more. Slight, like travel for vacations, not for like video games. Um, yeah, I want to meet new people and network a little bit. That'd be cool. Like go to like Look conventions, like TwitchCon. I've never been to TwitchCon before. That'd be dope. Those Wait, kinds you of wanted things. To try it? Coaching? No, probably not coaching. But yeah, I think it's the same for Sam. I don't see Sam playing after next year. I'll, I doubt it. I highly, highly doubt that Sam will play after 2025.